Well, hello, hello. Hey, ladies. Hello, hey, ladies. Hello, guys. Welcome to Gaw TV. Here we are. Mm-hmm. Happy Galentine's Day. Or as Lisa said, what'd you say? Galentine's Day. Galentine's And you said it Gaul-entine. sounded like, what did you say? Galentine's like? Day. <laughs> Galentine's, darling. Yes. You are. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. Same I'm yet. so happy to see you. Mm-hmm. Um, as you're watching here, do us a big favor. Like this video. Because you like us, subscribe because you don't want to miss any of our episodes. We have some pretty amazing episodes. And if you're watching right now on Wednesday, even go ahead and type in, look up. You can see the memberships. You can get the full edited versions, unedited versions, right? And um, subscribe and hit that bell icon. And hit the bell. Yes. Right. Hit the bell. All very important introductions and instructions there. Thank you, Mickey. You know what? We are so excited for Valentine's Day because whether you are coupled up, loved up, or single, ready to mingle, or just want to spend it with your gals, we're here for you. We love Valentine's Day. I certainly do. It's a lot of fun. But you know where we have the most fun? As Mickey mentioned, YouTube memberships. So it's a new month of YouTube memberships. The perks are just there waiting for you to peruse them and see what suits you. As a member here on YouTube, you can support us that way. And it's a lot of fun. Lots of perks, bonus footage, you name it, we got it. It's going to be a lot of fun there. We guarantee. Yeah. Guarantee. guarantee. And don't forget to hash that stuff. Like what you want to see, what you want to talk about, the guests and everything like that. So we're so excited. Today is such a special hot, heart throbbing. But there it is. <laughs> there it is. I can't do it. Episode because um we have the like the Jesus. This girl, can she not take a bad picture? Honestly. 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 Yeah. Without makeup, freaking drop dead gorgeous. But also also an awesome wrestler, an influencer, and um one of our good friends and a fashionista, which Val, you're gonna love this. Yeah. We have Barbie Blank, formerly Woo! known as Kelly Kelly, WWE. Hey. I'm so excited. We get to spend excited. Valentine's Day with Barbie Blank. What could be better than uh, that? Let's bring her in. Bring her on in. I'm so excited because the fans have been waiting a long time no. to talk to Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! 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 Look at this. Are you gorgeous? Oh, thanks, guys. It's good to see you. Good it's to see so you. good to see you. Um, oh, happy so belated birthday, by the Thank way. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. You look like you're 36. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, what? Shame. It's a great <laughs> age. You're going to love it. <laughs> Only you're, 30, you're 36? Yeah. Wow. It, when, no. when we met, you were what? Eight, what 18, 19? 19. Like 17 years ago. I was just thinking about this. I was wow. like, crazy? I was like wild. Yeah. I, we're just going to get right into it. We'll ask you a, co- a question that we ask all of our guests. But I have to say, now that we're talking about it, I was thinking about this today, too, because I think you were probably, or I thought I remember hearing you were the like, youngest female to be signed. Is that right? Yeah. At that time, yeah. anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. I don't think they've hired anyone younger than 19. Yeah. So. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe yeah, they should if they're going to be as successful as you. Like, obviously, it was a good decision. Oh, mm-hmm. thank and, you. Yeah. Well, Val, <laughs> when did you start? Um, when did you start? I mean, I, I, I mean, it's trying to impact at like 18, but I but I was doing shows at 16, like just barely 16. But I mean, that was independent shows. So like but to be signed to a big company at like 18, 19, that, that's pretty crazy. And when I look back, I'm like, it seemed normal. But now I, I meet people oh, that yeah, are like 20 really and I'm like, that's, weird? yeah, it's weird, yeah. right? That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell were we thinking? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, before we continue, I have to ask you, we love to ask all of our guests, who okay. are you wearing and what are you drinking? We'll go with you first and then we'll go to Mickey, then Lisa. Oh, okay. Well, I have this ribbed bodysuit jumpsuit. I can't show you the full thing, but it's from Amazon. It's like a Skims dupe. Yeah. Nice. Um, nice. So got that and I got some Uggs, my platinum platform Uggs slippers. Look at you go. <laughs> They're not and... white. They're not white. <laughs> no, they're, they're you love they're white not... shoes. You love white I shoes. I do. I love white shoes. Um, <laughs> and I'm doing dry January, so I'm not really drinking. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. Mm-hmm. People are doing That's but... okay. <laughs> um, I have so that Logan Paul who where he sends all his prime stuff. So I'm drinking a prime. 
What is that? Like, yeah, how is that? I hear everything is, about it. It's good. It's really good. It's, this one's a hydration. It's, he's got a bunch of different flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's what good. is it like a Gatorade? Like yeah. a I would body say armor? Much more flavorful than a Gatorade, though. It's like oh. you have to mix it with water because it's really sweet. The taste is like yeah, intense. No joke. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. in the UK here, they were I've I've seen posts about people like like cry, literally physically climbing over other people to get these drinks. It's a huge deal. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. That's like wild. almost like Black Friday, but for one product. So I don't know if it's I'm, I'm assuming it's the marketing must be great. And Logan Paul and Jake Paul, yeah. I remember watching them on Vine. Like that's how old I feel. But I they were so entertaining and so funny. I'm actually know. really proud of all they're doing because I'm like. They were so good in like, you know, 2001 or whatever it was. Yeah. 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 They took full advantage. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. Smarties. Yeah. Smarties. Smarties. <laughs> well, I'll go next. Are you I'll go next. Wearing? Well, I am drinking. I'm partaking into uh, Yellow Tail. I'm on the Ooh. Yellow Tail kick a little bit. Um, uh, yes. It's, you know, I get my 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 discount at CVS, which we, I need to be sponsored. Influencer <laughs> for CVS because I plug their freaking stuff all the time six <laughs> bottles you get 10 percent off and it's like less than four dollars a bottle yeah out of, my, out of my Please. wine glass made by kendall dunn big shout out in the chat room and i'm wearing uh since we're it's, it's valentine's day i'm wearing um a little oh look we're Ooh, in a a look at you. i love that you're like a sexy is space it, cadet is it, is it blinding you is it blinding you with the reflection I feel like I had that same. I was Britney Spears last year for Halloween. I feel like that was like you probably did. We probably own all like. Is it from Amazon? Did you get on Amazon? Shh. Yes. Yeah. That was Don't the be ashamed, girl. Video, Don't be it? ashamed. Yeah, I love my Amazon. Amazon. I love it. it. What about? I think that was the drive me crazy video. I'm not even a huge Britney yeah. fan. Wasn't that it? Because you know what? I loved the movie with Adrian Grenier and Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah. Who I met at Comic Con and I was like, I loved that movie. I know that's weird. So I follow her on Instagram. Like, what is going on? What is happening? <laughs> she, she's a big she's wrestling, wrestling, wrestling fan. She, she, she is. just she, she, yeah. we need to have her on our show then. Um, but she just that. dances. All of the oh. dancing. Yeah. Oh. Being locked yeah. up, it's up in the house. I guess you're just going. I gotta entertain myself. I don't care, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my. She's so oh, nice yeah. too. I mean, I grew up watching, you know, Sabrina and things like that. But I did love that movie. Mickey, I gotta go to you next because I gotta hear about this hat that I'm gonna see. Um. You. Well, I, it says stomp on the side. You know why I wore this? Is it's a little top from Lulu's? Is because Joaquin sent me this hat. <laughs> And the we shirt. good old Joaquin. I and you, I know, I love, I love him so much. And you introduced me to Joaquin, so that's Yay. why I wore this. Plus, <laughs> I, I thought it. it was pink, and it's a little Galentine's, you know, little hat special. So, I yeah. Oh, and it. I'm not drinking either. I'm drinking Fresca because Cheers, it's the Sam. universal mixer. <laughs> I love Fresca. You can only find them on like Delta flights. I can't, I can't even find them in like stores. Yeah, anymore. like a lost art. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yummy. Really. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. It, it's Very good when there's turbulence party. because it, like if you're if there's turbulence, you have a fresca, then like all of a sudden, oh no, vodka came in, and you're like, oh no, and that's what happened. That's why yeah. I enjoy fresca. It does fall um, in there. I'm refreshing myself with a little treat. I usually do plain vodka soda for the caloric intake and all the sugar-free stuff, but I treated myself to a raspberry vodka, and I threw some sugar-free cranberry cranberry drink in there to make it pink to match my outfit because it's Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing fancy. a nasty gal. You're this so fan. <laughs> Thanks. So fancy. Um, I like I like to be matchy matchy. This is a nasty gal dress that I'm treating like a robe. I slotted it up with a little brazier underneath there. Um, an over the shoulder boulder holder. For <laughs> <laughs> at home. And this is actually I bought this for eight pounds at a charity shop in England. So yay for that. Yay for Barker. That's cute. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love, it. Love, Love it. it. Yeah. Can we have say Beautiful. a quick cheers, all 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 girls, because this is Valentine's yes. Day. And what's better than having your girlfriends around for Galentine's Day? Cheers, ladies. I love that. Cheers. Cheers. We love Cheers. you. Cheers. We love you. Exactly. Thank you for coming on our show. Yes. Thanks for having me on, especially the Valentine's episode. This is great. We oh, wanted to make amazing. sure it was special. Yeah. And, uh, and you're yeah. one of the most requested guests ever. So we're so thankful. Oh, my to be God. Here. Well, I've yeah. been wanting to do this for a long time. So thank you guys yeah. for asking. Your, your scheduling was difficult. It was it was hard to get you on um, schedule. No, and also too, awesome. can we do a shout out from when she did her WrestleMania? Yes, her outfit was the highest oh, bid. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah well, I knew amazing. that. 
I knew the lingerie would get him. So yeah, yes. Listen, why not? Why yeah. not? And it was for a good cause, and we'd love for you to be a part exactly. of it. Exactly. It was yeah, but you you were so quick to you know say yes and just you know pick out something that was gorgeous and beautiful and still very classy and but sexy as always as all of your photos are by the way. There's always sophistication and elegance in there with, with the sexiness which we love. But yeah, your Dresselmania donation was such a a big uh, game changer really for for the for the event, and we're doing it again this year. We're going to Hollywood. Oh god! So we'll Yay, see you there. My home yeah. House. yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what are your main plans this year? Like, what's your? I mean, it's kind of in your backyard. So, are you going to be a part of all the events and and WrestleCon and all that? Yeah, I definitely think WrestleCon for sure. I mean, it's mm-hmm. literally like right here. Um, but yeah, that's my plan so far. I don't know of anything else. I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear and see what yeah. happens. Fabulous. You'll have are to you keep us posted as to what's going on too, because you live there. So, yeah. oh, I will. We will go out. <laughs> at least one <laughs> night we must yes, we must yes. yeah we'll yeah because yeah, we tend to work. we tend to be in places like for signings that we a we don't have time or b you know we don't know the city or it's like you know i don't know places that we wouldn't be familiar with so la would be amazing i haven't been back to la for like i don't know 10 years or something so oh my we'll god that's yes yeah. i would love to go it'll be fun yeah yeah i'm excited yeah. Gosh. Yeah. i have to say so, like, this uh, uh, yeah, uh, so much. I'm just so happy to see you. I know you too. I feel like I haven't I know. seen you so long. I know. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations on getting Thank married. You. Congratulations yes. on all the amazing things that you're doing. How is that? How is the newlywed life? <laughs> the married life. You know, it's so good. Like it'll be two years in April, which is wild yeah. to wow. think. Like already been Crazy. two years. Um. And it's just been so great. Like, we're really like focusing on family and like, you know, obviously I've been very open about, you know, my IVF journal and, or, you know, my IVF journey and trying to get pregnant. And, um, you know, we're just like really excited to start a family and, um, just, yeah, that's kind of where our focus is right now. That's amazing. So exciting. Yeah. That's really cool to share with people too, because I have so many friends that have been through the IVF process and yeah, great stories. And somehow, well, a lot of them have, you know, uh, happy endings but a lot of them are still struggling so it's it's something to really talk about right. as much as we love doing like fun photo shoots and stuff to get real with your fans that's really that's really brave of you to kind of open up about that yeah, yeah. I just yeah. feel like it's such a topic that's like not talked about and I feel like so many women struggle with it yeah. and I just feel like with my platform and I you know when I started and I was open about obviously I had a miscarriage um you know and trying to get pregnant after that I had an amazing doctor who I got in contact with and she's actually doing a documentary with HBO right now. And she was like, Hey, I want to do this documentary. She's got like five women who are part of it. And she asked me to be a part of it. And I was like, I would love to, like, I would love to share my journey. Like, this is like, just want to be able to like tell my story. And if it can, you know, affect one woman and somebody get some inspiration from it and, you know, that was kind of where you're like candace husband. candace is like doing like oh, panic attacks God. and now you're talking about this no. i think at, at, like when we get older i think we need to embrace like what our normal life is it's not just yeah. perfection and being on tv and just doing photo shoots yeah. right we have yeah. a real life you know, like like carmela came out and carmela talked about her you know miscarriage and i think it's like so good for women because it's such a common thing it's like one in three women yeah, have a right. miscarriage in my life and it's just people look at it like oh my god this is like frowned upon like I don't want to look like something's wrong with me mm-hmm. right um, but I just think it's so normal now and it's good to normalize it and make you feel like okay I'm not alone because I right. think that you kind of go in this like shell of like oh my god nobody understands I have nobody to talk to about this like so I think it's it's and I when I came out and talked about it I had over thousand women messaged me just saying thank you so much for speaking up on this platform about this like it's not talked about enough and yeah so it's wow. just you know so it's been in a really really great journey to be yeah that's on. amazing that's amazing it's amazing so, oh my yeah God, I'm so proud of you. i think oftentimes we too we feel like I, you can't talk about those things because you almost feel shame about it because it was right whatever and so when you normalize it like that or just open it makes you like you said like you aren't alone that's incredible Mm-hmm. Yeah. thank you yeah and we got amazing yeah. results from IVF we got 
eight amazing embryos waiting. So beautiful. We're excited. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's so, <laughs> we were just saying about, about our, you know, our ages and stuff, not that we're anyone, not that ages, it's just a number. But it's so funny to hear of people like like Lisa just said, oh, my God, I'm, she knew you when you were 19. Not mm -hmm. only the age thing, but then people start having kids. All of my girlfriends are now starting to have babies and stuff. And people in wrestling, like, I'll never forget Christy Hemi going, guess how many babies I'm having? Not one, <laughs> not two, not three. I was like, I can't. I don't know what you're saying. Four. <laughs> so like, she, you know, she's momming so hard. But it's it's got to be nice to know that, like, kind of people that you have worked with are, are good, you know, getting to that stage in life. And it's sort of setting oh, a precedent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, is. Yeah. yeah, it's I also think being a mom in wrestling is too because that was something that wasn't a thing before too. It was like right. there weren't a lot of moms in wrestling, and now there's even more, and it's such a cool thing to see because everybody's growing up. I They're growing know. up. You guys stop know. that! Stop that, Mickey, I Barbie, now. Pregnant, and I was like, I Mickey, oh my gosh! Oh, I know. I, yeah, it, it was like, and also back in our day, when if you get pregnant, you're off TV. Is there, gonna be a, there's, is there gonna be a spot waiting for me or am I done? Do you know what it's I mean? Done. It's a yeah. little bit yeah. more of a stigma, you know? Yeah. Right? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think that's getting better. I think it's progressing in, in the right way. But if we can mention wrestling, of course we have, by the way, hello to everyone in the live chat room because I know they're gonna have a lot of wrestling questions. But I'll just <laughs> I'll just put a blanket statement out there. And I, I can't believe, I was thinking about this earlier. We should ask every guest this, that's not super active as, as in like, you know, on TV all the time or, uh, with wrestling or traveling on the road. Because you were so entrenched in it for so long, what do you miss about it? And more importantly, and more hilariously, what do you not miss? Oh, gosh. Being um, on the road okay. in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> what do I miss? I definitely miss um, all the girl, like all the friendships, like the traveling with your friends, like, you know, renting the cars and, and doing the travel, um, all that stuff. I just loved. I loved um the camaraderie. I love the family aspect. Um, and I loved, I got to see the world at 19 years old. Like how many people can say that? Right. Um, and yeah, I just, I think, and I love performing. I love performing for the fans. Um, I love going out there every night and putting on a show and it was just, it's the best feeling in the world. Like people are like, well, describe it. I'm like, I can't, like, it's literally when you walk through that curtain and it's unlike anything you will ever feel in your life. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll definitely that. What do I not miss? Um, I don't miss bumping. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew this would be a fun question. Just put it out there. I don't miss the bumps. Um, <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> um, I, it's funny because I, I'm really good friends with um, Summer, Summer Ray. Mm -hmm. and she just went down to natty's school in uh tampa yeah yeah she was like she hadn't bumped in years like bumped like that and she was i was like you're giving me anxiety talking about it she's like oh my god i did this and all these front bumps and back bumps and i'm like oh my god i'm getting anxiety just like hearing like hearing you <laughs> say for hours i'm like holy shit it just brings mm. back like so many so and much like, traumatic like, like PTSD well, like my almost, body, right? well I think about it and I'm like I just really was like did not care I was like beat the shit out of me like and now I think about it and I'm like oh my god I really was like just beat the shit out of me now I'm like please god don't touch me oh my god yeah. <laughs> was like, thank you <laughs> oh my gosh yeah yeah i um i just went back to impact wrestling um to support mickey james on our pay-per-view and then we had I a saw that. congratulations yeah. Mick. i know Thank mickey you. right oh my whoop, whoop. and yeah, I, was listening to, I was listening to people go over their matches and i was like i gotta get out of here i gotta get out of here i was like i can't i can't even listen to this because i'm getting that nervous and remember yes. the nervous belly and my knees started shaking i'm like i'm so out of it that when I got back to it, I'm like going, oh, hey, Mickey, you want to go outside with me? Let's go outside. Let's go out. Hey, Gail, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go hang out. Let's talk. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was brutal. Yeah. I mean, it was exciting, but brutal listening. Yeah. yeah. Well, like yeah. even in rumbles too, like every time I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm like, okay, let me just get my spots in, get in, get out. And because it is just so nerve wracking too, especially yeah. being in there with girls that you've never been in there with before. And just a lot of pressure, you know? So, yeah. And you haven't done it in a while. And yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. yeah. yeah. Did you I had Mickey. Oh, sorry. I had Mickey keep on pulling me aside. 
you're freaking Victoria. And I'm like, I haven't wrestled in a long time. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I'm going to get blown up. I'm like, I don't know what to do. But thank God I had some certain friends that were Mickey, basically. Um, just pulled her aside. And I'm like, what, what is my repertoire? Mickey, like <laughs> you really grounded me. I like to have that there. I was a mess. I was a mess. Like going back there, it was just like, it was like, and not knowing anybody and like, I'm in the way. I feel like I'm in the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. But thank yeah. you. Guys. Did you find like the backstage in the locker room in particular, like not better or worse, but did you find it different when you went back, Barbie? Was it kind of, I'm sure you didn't know everybody, but I'm sure, you know, most of everybody. But how was yeah. that vibe when you went last time? No. So when I, yeah, it's just, it is different. It's very different. I feel like when we were there, um, all the girls were just, we were so close, tight knit. And maybe they are. Um, I just right. know when we were there, it was just like, everybody was like together talking in the locker room sitting down yeah. and then when I feel like when I went back like no one was really in the locker room everybody was kind of doing their own thing um which is totally fine but mm -hmm. I just feel like um we just were such a tight-knit group back then yeah 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 what's coming up like what do you have planned like what are your goals I guess it's 2023 we're still in a new year oh, do you got anything I crazy know. What's no. this Reno thing? This Reno thing you were telling me. What's Reno? The Reno. You texted me a Reno house. Reno. Reno. <laughs> it was repo. It Reno. automatically spelled. Renovations. I, like, I think renovations. Oh, I thought she was moving to Reno, Nevada. I was like, get it, girl. I, I, I actually I was going to go, why? She's at a, a Reno house show or something. Because uh, it came up. Uh, oh, my God. I'm so old. Uh, Reno. What's this OMG Renault. stand for? What's this OMG stand for? Oh my god! I'm good. <laughs> okay, sorry, go. Barbie. What? What do you? What? What's your? What's your? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. No, I think uh, my main focus is you know just having a baby. I think that's really kind of where I'm putting all my energy into and and everything like that is is going into this year. Um, just wanting to start a family and obviously mm. like still doing my social media and stuff like that and still working. Yeah. Um, but mostly, yeah, I'm just like have baby fever over here. I'm trying to have, oh, and yeah. you're going to be an amazing mom. There. You're going to be amazing. <laughs> you really are. I'm, I'm laughing excited. because, because I follow all these influencers that I'm like, oh my God, I love her makeup or clothes. And then they have a baby and I'm like, well, shit, I can't relate. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> they become like mommy or over here. No, like mommy pregnant, okay? like, well, damn, you'll still be you, but there are some that just don't, you know, You'll do like, no, a, I'm a, like, I'm fully gonna things. bring my bump into, yeah. oh, it's oh, yeah. Gonna... Imagine all those clothing lines that have pregnancy lines, the, yeah. those in the, in the baby formula, and the baby cool products. Girl, influencing is gonna jump off the roof. Look, they're gonna hit a whole new market. You have to get a shirt that says influencing for two, please. Oh, oh. oh my God, that's so it cute. Be, it's so that's cute. So cute. So cute. I love that. Can Brilliant. we ask you just, you know, girls to girl, do you have yeah. a parents? Have you always thought of yourself as a boy mom or a girl mom or you don't really care? I, I want both. Yeah. I want both. He wants all the babies. Oh, <laughs> my God. I just want both. So yeah. I would be happy with either, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I'm leaning towards a girl because, and my husband wants a boy. So. That's always yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do guys always want a boy? Like they. I don't know. Always funny. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Was that what Nick know. was after, Mickey? Was he kind of like secretly hoping? Or um, like, oh, I'll get your I think so. I think so. I didn't really care, but I will say now. Um, I mean, I wouldn't change a thing, obviously. Yeah. But there, I. The thing is, is that with girls, they they have so much more fashion, but not anymore. They have boy fashion. They have oh, good boy yeah, fashion boys. Too, mm -hmm. You know, but there's just so much more. There's the dresses and the tights and the hats and the bows and the things. Um, yeah, yeah. Mickey, I see boys you with a boy. Just I would, I, I would never see Suspend you with a little girl. I would see you with a a, a boy. Oh, yeah, 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 girl. yeah, yeah. I, I, baby, I, baby Donovan. Like, yeah, it's it's Donovan. yeah. Just oh, I could see. I could totally see you with both. Yeah. yeah, I can too. Yeah. I could totally see Mickey with a little girl. Oh my God, little pigtails, little baby. Right? Oh my oh, God, little, it's so cute. Little brain. Native American, dressing Native American. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, Barbie, before before we let you go, because it is Valentine's Day slash Valentine's Day, um, yeah. I'd love to know your thoughts on the, the holiday itself. Like for me, 
I, I love more. I mean, I'm, I'm married now. I love a Valentine's Day with my husband. But even before when I was single, I love to do it with my girlfriends and just, you know, go to a bar or something. What does the holiday mean to you? And, and what do you how do you usually celebrate Valentine's Day? So it's funny. My husband tells me that I am like a sucker for a Hallmark. Like I love every holiday. I love to celebrate any kind of, he's like, you are just, it's so funny. And he's like, I've never met any. I'm like, I love Thanksgiving. I love Christmas. I me love too. Valentine's day. I love Easter. I love new year. Yeah. Like yeah. I just want things. a reason to celebrate and get yes. with everybody and hang yeah. out. I agree. <laughs> and I, I I'm the like, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Nope. So <laughs> I for Valentine's Day I'm like all I want and like even before I was married I just want to like go out whether it's with my girlfriends or my husband like go to nice dinner have a nice bottle of wine nice food and just enjoy I want flowers that's all I want just give me some dang flowers oh. um yeah that's all that's what's your favorite flower Ooh. do you have a favorite mm -hmm. no let's say yeah. probably roses yeah 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 you what's your guys' favorite? Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask Mickey, what's yours? Um, I really love lilies, but because I love the way they smell so much, and plus they blossom in like this star. Yeah, um, I love all flowers, but I really do love lilies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't do nature, so girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't, but um, I like orchids. I like orchids, and I love Valentine's Day. I'm with you. I love all the holidays and the theme. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Lisa, I'm not a flower girl. I, I, I'm, I'm not a flower girl. So I'm like, if you give what me flowers, I'm like, I, 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 I'm like, don't give me flowers. They die. We have to throw it away. It's a waste. I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm, I'm very much of a tomboy. I'm like, you know, hey, we need a new vacuum cleaner. I'm more like, give me a dustbuster. Give me. I like that. Practical. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> what about like that robot chocolate? vacuum? Would you, would you prefer like chocolate to flowers or like jewelry or? Me? Yeah. If you don't want flowers, no, like no, I'm, I'm, I'm more. Uh, uh, I need a new suitcase. Um, what you know that I'm more like. What can I use? That's. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really bored. No, I'm, very, I'm difficult to buy for. I'll be honest with you. I'm like, you know, hey, um, you know, I need high socks. Like really, like, <laughs> not, not gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm very. I can't. Nothing says love like a pair of socks or a new black candy. socks. Some Ross or oh. Marshalls. Yeah. What? Ross dressed for less. My God. Yeah. I, think well, you know I, wanted, I wanted the Frank's USA uh, jeans. That's what I want. Freddie jeans. Freddie yeah. jeans. Freddie jeans. Yeah. I said Frank's USA. <laughs> <laughs> Listen it's up. Freddie USA though. Freddie USA. Yes. Freddie. Yeah. Freddie USA. It's amazing. Yeah. USA. You guys, you got to look at their jeans. Yeah. I'll check I just them out. about it today. Just posted it. So I'll go check People it out. Media. I'm going to hit it with a like. Yeah, hit it. Like we're it gonna like, honey. We're gonna like <laughs> the F out of hit it. it. Oh hit my it. god. I love you so much. Amazing brands and content that Barbie is so gorgeously creating. Of Thank course, you. we're gonna put all the links in the description. Like you're not already following Barbie Blank. Hello, what are you living under a rock? <laughs> This exactly. gorgeous. Oh. Thank you for being here. And we're so excited to see you around Mania Weekend. So excited for your family plans and, and you being married, your your birthday and everything. We're just so proud of you. And there's so, so many fun. reasons to celebrate you. So we want to say thank you for being here. Thank yeah. you, God. Of course. Well, thank yeah. and let me know if, if I can contribute to this year's oh. dress. Oh. It's going to be at the Biltmore. You yeah. please come. If you have it off, it's going to be Saturday night at the Biltmore where WrestleCon yes. is and all that stuff. So maybe that. pencil it in. I got It'll, you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Love you, girls. Right, cheers. Love, Love you. Thank you for I'm being so here. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah. Cheers, sis. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having poops me. To poops, to poops, to poops. Hey, to poops. Let the word go, yo.